Good morning, it's a really beautiful day and the sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky, the ground is drying up. You just can't get any better than this. So we got a couple of things to uh, recap. We finished the deck, we added this beautiful horse fencing that goes all the way around the deck, make sure that there's a railing and that we can set you know, drinks on the edge of the, of the deck and lean over the deck and look out onto the land and just also to keep the kiddos safe. So what we did with the horse fencing is we took a two by eight on the bottom and we put the horse fencing down, we stretched it out, we stapled it in and then this two by eight right here went in between the horse fencing so that it would be nice and secure. And then on the inside, we took two by fours and then we hung a two by six between the two beams right here. There's one, there's the two by six, and there's the other one. And what that does is it gives a nice railing and then it also secures the horse fencing in between the two by four and the main post out here. So horse fencing gets more secure. It's of course tacked in and secure even before we put the beams on, but you can see it makes a really nice railing that you can enjoy while you're out here. So we're really happy with that. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about is the internet. Um, so we have a metal building that's about 50 feet from the house and our Wi-Fi signal from the house goes all the way out to the metal building which is great. Uh, the problem is getting inside the metal building the Wi-Fi signal gets completely blocked and I can't take credit for this I actually found it on YouTube. I'm a huge researcher I look on YouTube for everything. Um, sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad right but you live and learn as you go along the process. So what I found was that if you just get a Wi-Fi extender with a really long antenna, you can stick the antenna outside of the metal building, drill a hole into the metal building, stick one antenna outside the metal building to receive the signal that's outside the metal building, and then take the other antenna and stick it inside the building. So the antenna on the outside will receive the Wi-Fi signal, and then the antenna on the inside will boost the Wi-Fi signal on the inside. Actually, both antennas work the same. They're, they're both receivers and boosters. So um, we did that. Uh, at first, we didn't have enough room to get the antenna all the way out of the building because, you know, with the two by fours and the insulation and the OSB that we put on the walls, uh, we had just like an inch sticking out of the building. That wasn't enough to get the full signal. I still got no signal inside the building. I was pretty bummed about it. But we moved the outlet and the Wi-Fi repeater uh, further inside of the, the structure so that the antenna can stick further out. And now we have the antenna sticking about five or six inches out. And now I have full internet inside the office slash well house. So that's working out really well. And uh, it's a really simple fix. It costs 40 bucks and I couldn't be happier with the decision. Now, if you have internet that doesn't reach your metal building, you're gonna to need to find a Wi-Fi repeater that can boost the signal at least uh, pretty strong right outside your metal building. So you can do that by, sometimes it's just as simple as putting it to a window that's closest to your, to your metal building. Uh, you might need to find something that can boost the signal a little bit further, but in general, Wi-Fi repeaters are not that expensive. So uh, like I said, mine was 40 bucks. I've seen them go from 40 bucks to 500 bucks, depending on how heavy duty you want to go. I mean, if you have a field that's like a thousand feet long or, you know, even farther, you can get those really heavy duty ones, the commercial grade ones that will boost the signal out insanely far. But for the most part, I think my Wi-Fi repeater said it would go oh, six or 700 feet. And uh, so far it's living up to that expectation. Um, just find a way to get the signal out to at least the outside of your metal building. And then that trick should work like a charm. 
So that's our progress. The deck is finally finished. We can actually sit on it and enjoy it now. We haven't had a rain yet. I'm waiting for the first rain to make sure that the roof holds up just fine. I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, it'd be nice to sit outside when it's raining and enjoy a thunderstorm and just appreciate the fruits of the labor. And uh, this Friday, we have grass coming in to be planted, so I'm really excited about that. Finally get uh, out of this mud, grass will kick in, and this place is just getting better and better. If you like what you see, follow us on our journey, hit that subscribe button, and follow us on our journey to making this homestead as best as we can make it.